Time. The silent herald of life and death. Success or failure. The unseen force that measures man's destiny, reaching its most fateful moment as it slowly strikes. The eleventh hour. Hear a happier sound in all creation. And why shouldn't they be happy, Father Donnelly? Aye, it's not every day that such a blessed marriage comes on the islands. Blessed marriage? It is that. Aye, I know. He's a good boy, my Tomas. And I lean on much his goodness. Hmm. Kate Donnell, it's not an inquisitive man I am, but would you tell me why your face just went dark like a cloud going over? Oh, tis nothing good, Father. Ah, it's Paddy you're thinking of. Father Donahue. Sometimes I don't understand the ways of the good Lord. Tomas and Paddy, both of them born to me on the same cold winter's night, both of them the same flesh and blood out of me, and yet Tomas is good as an angel, and Paddy, evil from the moment he took his first breath of God's good air. Now, Katie. Your son, Tomas, he's a pager for all your trouble. A good boy. And now the prettiest girl in all the blaskets waiting to be his bride as soon as the sun starts setting. <laughs> I tell you here. <laughs> Sean. <laughs> ah, Tomas, my boy. Well, and what are the two you're holding a secret meeting about? We've been talking about the prettiest girl in the islands. You mean she's the prettiest girl in all the world, aye, mother? I'm so happy for you, my son. I know, darling. See, it's getting so late. I wonder where Paddy can be. Ah, uh, it'd be a better wedding without him. Ah, okay, Donald, don't. Paddy may be there. Oh, well, I... I think I'll go out and listen to the fiddling. See you in the sun is setting tomorrow. Aye! <laughs> and the sooner the better, Father. It's an impatient man I am. Ah, <laughs> oh, the good Father. A marriage blessed with his tongue is a marriage that... Mother, what is it? Ah, uh, you know the answer. Paddy? Aye. Oh, he'll get to my wedding. I'm praying he won't. Now, Mother, don't say things like that. After all, he's your son and my brother. Ah, uh, sorrow on my heart. Drinking and brawling and... Paddy. Paddy, you did come! Oh, speak of the devil. And why shouldn't I be here? Is it only strangers that are welcome at your wedding? Oh, no, Paddy. That's not the way to talk. There's food and drink in this house today for every man. And a double helping for you when you know it. Oh, yes, sir. I've more important things to do than fill in my belly. Listen to me, Brother Tomas. If you had that full of weddings that you can't hear a chance of making us all richer than a Yankee. What do you mean? Hey, speak up, Paddy. What devilment are you up to now? Devilment nothing. It's honest money I'm talking of. And may the next pipes and tobacco be at me own wake if I'm not telling you the truth. We're listening. Well, do you remember that hulk of a ship that was wrecked off in Isnabro a while ago? I went there yesterday to see if there was anything worth having and... Oh, listen to me, brother. There, in the bottom of a pool, no deeper than this room, is lying enough boats of copper and brass to make you and me the richest men on the islands. What? Ah, don't listen to him to Wait a minute, mother. Where did you say this fortune was a lion body? Eight feet of water, right off the place where you caught that seal last year. Oh, Tomas, I tell you, it's the chance of our lifetime. There's more than 500 pieces of copper and brass there. And they're worth a pound a piece as sure as I'm standing here. Well, haven't you got something to say to me? What? But my wedding? Oh, you talk like you're cracked. Wouldn't you rather bring the bride a pocketbook filled with gold sovereigns than the empty leather you've got now? Wouldn't you rather be able to give her a, a bit of meat in the house and a little dress for the prettiness of her than the empty words you can give her now? But, Paddy! Now, oh, wish the mother, you talk to the man. A king's fortune right under his hand and the cracked fool won't bend down to pick it up. Uh, tomorrow. I... It would be nice to have a bit of money in the house. Aye. Then what are we waiting for? What do you think, Mother? Ah, oh, I fancy Eileen will wait three hours for you. Ah, now you're talking words that mean something. Come on, Tomas. Three hours and I'll have you richer than... 
right, Eileen. Let her have the word whether you stay or go. Stay or go? Where, Mother Donald? What's going on, Tomas? Well, uh, you see, Eileen, Paddy here says that he thinks that... Ah, the day's short. Let me say it. There's a fortune in brass and copper boats waiting for us in water no deeper than a man's neck or finishing a bro. And Tomas here thinks you'd be fool enough to say no to his going. But, but, must he go now? We'd be back in three hours, Eileen. And the sea's as calm as a place at sea. Just think, Eileen, you'd have a dress for every day of the week. Tomas, do you want to go? We could build a new house with the money. Sure, the finest house that John will ever had. Come on, we can take the side path down to the cliff and, and be off out to sea and none of them out there the wiser till we get back. Your boat will hold. Wait, brother. Eileen. Is it your wish? I'd be a poor wife to you, Tomas, if, if I stood in your way of making a living even before our marriage. My darling. Ah, there'll be time enough for that stuff when we get back. Come on, Tomas. Let's get out there. Hurry back to me, Tomas. My dearest. The sea will take me to our good fortune. And the sea will bring me back. Go this way, Tomas. Hurry. I'm coming. Until the wind, darling. God go with you. Come on! Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh, Eileen. <laughs> oh, little baby, why should you cry? Some also plowed the sea so many times. Why should you cry this time? Oh, oh Mother Donald. I'm, I'm frightened. Frightened? But why that? I, I don't know. When that door closed behind him, it, it seemed as if the waters of the sea were closing over him. And, oh, Mother Donald, hold me close. I'm so afraid. Eileen, baby, come away from the water. No. Four hours you've been sitting here. What good is it? He said he'd come right back. I, I know. But sitting here staring out of the water won't see their way. Come back. But he said he'd be right back. Eileen, child, come. Ah, here the two of you are. Check you, Donald. Ask me this. The sun's almost set, but where did Tomas, Donald? Uh, he and, and Paddy... They went to fetch a special present for Eileen. They'll be back, Father Donahue. Oh, please tell our good neighbors to drink and dance for a bit longer. Please. All right. I'll ask no more questions. I'll tell them. I'll never see Tomas again. Have you lost your head? Look, the sea is smooth and the sky is clear. But what misfortune can come on a day like this? I'll never see Tomas again. Stop saying that, girl. It's tempting the devil to do his evil work. Come on. Come where? We climb to the top of the cliff so our eyes can see far out of the water. Come, come, we'll see them coming in. Longer than they thought. I told you that before. Oh, there's not a pin's worth wrong with them. There can't be, I tell you. Mother Donald. What? To the west, where they went. The water. Holy Mother. That wind. Where did it come from? Out of the west, where he was. But so quick. In all my years, the wind's never come up so quick before. The water. Look at it swirling and tossing before the wind. Dead. My Tomas dead. 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 Tomas dead. Oh, no, stop saying that. He oh. was dead, my Tomas. Not oh. dead. Come in, good neighbor. Is there any blessed word of my son? The Holy Mary, have pity. 
Not Katie. There've been burning fires on top of the cliff all through the night, but there's not to be seen but the tempest and the smothering waves. Oh, my sons. My sons. The little bride. Where is she? Oh, sleeping at last. Oh, what have I done that misfortune should strike me? We so? do What? A boat! A boat! A boat to the west! Wait. Yes, yes, come on. They don't know. The boat's coming, and there's living hands on the oars. Come on. They're trying to get in the land. Come on, hurry. I got a right to live. Tell me. Tell me quick. Where is my son tomorrow? Tell me, Paddy. Where is my tomorrow? Where do you think he is, old woman? Dead. At the bottom of the sea. Stand closer about me, good neighbors. Ah, get to be quiet. No weeping. And civil services for our dear departed are over. It is right that we should stand here on the cliff to say the last words for the soul of the one whom the sea has taken to the Lord. This fair ground is our cathedral, for it is spoken in truth, as you know, that once on this place there rose a mighty church of God built by the hands of a strange race of men that lived on these islands before our fathers and their fathers, fathers. A mighty cathedral. And one night, these people committed a horrible sin, and the sea rose high as it cliff and covered the church and threw it down into the sea. You know the legend well. There is a cathedral under the sea at the base of this place where we stand. And if a great wrong is to be done on these islands, the bells under the water ring and ring until men cannot bear the sound of it and the very heavens tremble with the glory of God and the glory of righteousness. So I say that if there was a wrong done on the sea to Thomas Donor, I know in my heart that the bells would ring. Yet they are silent. So we know that Tomas Dono died in righteousness. And now I take this wreath of sweet-smelling ferns 
and throw it to the waters of the Tomas Donald's grave. Blessed are they that mourn thee, for they shall be comforted. But I ask you now, if it was an accident, how did Paddy live if Tomas died? Who can tell the way to the sea? Would a man kill his brother for a handful of copper? I tell you, no. And she heard what the good father said. If there was evil done in the sea, the bells under the sea would ring, as my father told me it would and his father before him. But there was no sound, so there was no evil done. So keep your peace and mourn the day. Ah, poor little Eileen. Ah, but she's young. Young tears go quickly. She'll forget soon enough. Soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, so you like the tale I've told you? Oh, Paddy, you've a tongue in you for tall stories. <laughs> uh, some I could tell you that would be told with my heart. Oh, no, Paddy. Give me a hand, Eileen. <laughs> you took it? I ask. I want more. No. All these months, I've, I've closed the mouth of me to keep from saying it. I want you, Eileen. Oh, Paddy, how can you say it? Why not? Why not? Moss, your brother. But, but he wanted me to have you. What? Yes. Yes, he did. You've heard me tell the story. The, the boat turned over. He was drowning. I tried to save him. Yes. Before he went under, he cried out, Eileen. Take care of her. Oh. So marry me, Eileen. Tomas wanted that for you. I swear it. Marry me. Marry me. Marry me. Marry me. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh. oh, Mother Donald. Why do you sit here apart from all the rest and weep? Why, I'm not weeping, Gerald. Oh, for weeks you've been so sad. Can't you find a, a little joy in your heart for this day of my marriage to your own son? My son? I, I, I don't love him as I did dear Tomas. God rest his soul. But you know Tomas is dying word. And I, I'm so lonely, Mother. Sometimes I think, oh, Mother Donald, don't make it hard for me. All these. All these weeks. Dead in the sea. Oh, no, no, don't talk of him. Oh, Mother Donna, why must you take the little joy out of this wedding day? Oh, there's no wedding for him in the sea. Stop saying that. He wanted me to be with Paddy. He did. Oh, I don't know what to do. I, I don't. I don't. Eileen, we're waiting. Oh, let me be. Ah, oh, talking to the old woman again, eh? What's she been saying to you? Oh, let her be. Shut your mouth, you old crook. I'm sick of your trying to stop my wedding with your weeping and wailing. Well, I'm your son, too. And it's married I'm getting this day. I'm marrying Eileen. Aye, not even an hour from now, but now. So if it's a wedding of your son you want to see, come down to the shore where my friends and the priest is waiting. A wedding, you hear me, Mother? And neither you nor heaven nor hell can stop me. All right, Father Donahue. It's ready I am to be made a man with a wife. Your mother lies. Where is she? Mother, ah. Ah, she's here, there, someplace, telling her neighbors how happy she is. Ah, is she now? Is it a sin to want to marry and have a woman for a proper wife, Father Daniel? No. Then marry us now. Eileen. Yes, Paddy. We're ready now. Come close, neighbors. Wait! Who cried out? Who was it? It's the Wizard Donald. It's Katie Donald. Katie. Katie Donald. What is it? Ah, trying to stop a wedding she is. Well, you won't. You won't, I... Listen. Listen to what? To what? Listen. Ah, there's nothing to hear, Father Daddy. You come away, read the wedding service. Listen. Oh, Lily, Mother of God. Father Donahue, why did you say that? 
What's the matter with you? Why are you standing there with your jaw hanging? I mean, you two standing there answering me. What's the matter with you? I... I hear... You what? What, have you gone daft, all of you? Why are you standing so still? What are you up to? All of them here, but you... You what? Answer me, someone. What are you hearing? What? Out to the team. You're crazy, all of you. On your knees, my children. On your knees? Why are you praying? Someone tell me, what are you listening to? All of them here but you. Hear what? What? Answer me, answer. Stop it. Stop looking like that as if you're hearing something. There's nothing to hear, nothing but the wind. Answer me, someone. You're Mr. Two. Whatever it is, I can't hear it. I can't. It's not deaf I am. I hear my voice. By the Donnie, you tell me, what are you hearing? From out to the sea. What? A great sin has been done by one of us. But the old man said was true. A great sin done. And out of the sea will come a great voice. And the heavens will tremble. Stop talking. My wedding. There can be no wedding. A great sin has been done. Listen. Listen and pray. Pray. I don't know of praying. Why should I pray? Get to your feet and leave my wedding. You're crazy, all of you. There's nothing here. There's nothing. Wait. I do hear. Something. Something from the sea. A voice. His voice. His voice. Someone call it. Out to the sea. Quiet. Everyone quiet. So he can hear. His voice. Look, the boat's coming to the spot. Hello, it's Tomas! 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 It can't be Tomas. Tomas! Tomas! I'm coming to you. There's a boat coming to the bar. It can't be Tomas, John. No, no, it's Tomas, John. No, no, no. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Yes. You're dead, Tomas. Dead. Go back to the dead. I killed you. No. No, you won't get me, dead thing. No. I'll get away. I'll run. I'll run. Mother, mother. Oh, my Tomas, come back. My lean, my dearest. Tomas, Tomas. And you, Father Donahue. Have, have the gay person. Oh, no, no, I'm flesh and blood, good father. He left me for dead in the sea. That devil I call a brother. Oh, I knew it, I knew. But a trawler fished me out and shook the water out of me before the heart of me stopped. Oh, oh my Tomas. He took me to the mainland. I had no money. Took me all this time to get back. The fog was so thick out there. My boat, I almost ran it on the rocks till I heard the bell. Oh, the bell. Oh, blessed bell. Oh, tell me, what were those bells? They guided me in here. Strange bells. There are no such bells on the islands. Why do you look at me like that? Father, you tell me. What were those bells? He said, there is a cathedral under the sea at this place where we stand. And if a great wrong is to be done on these islands, the bells under the water ring and ring until men cannot bear the sound of it. And the very heavens tremble with the glory of God and the glory of righteousness. silent herald of life and death, success or failure, the unseen force that measures man's destiny, reaching its most fateful moment as it slowly strikes the 11th hour. <laughs> 